Welcome. I'm going to. This is exciting to play on my channel because I already played through Outlast. This is not a complete blind through because I played. A, I haven't played it ever since like September. We're going to be playing through all the games of Outlast because Red Barrels on the Twitter said they're making an announcement soon. So, um. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be Outlast 3. They already said they're going to do Outlast 3, but I think it's going to be um, in the Outlast universe. But we're going to play through this game, The Whistleblower, and Outlast 2. So if you never. I'm pretty sure everybody's seen gameplay of this. Um, or played it. But if you haven't played it and you own a PS4, Xbox, or PC, and especially if you own a PC that can run this run all three of these games uh, I would highly recommend you guys uh, going through buying this the DLC and Atlas 2 because it's a worthwhile experience especially the first one but let's get jump right into this game and I'm currently recording this at 1224 a.m. so let's go normal hard <coughs> we'll go normal Atlas contains intense violent scores, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. Alright, now I'm going to try to read all this, then I will get on to the actual gameplay. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the source, no other journalists will dare to investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are enough fire to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Alright. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Alright, and let's go on to do this. I'm just going to pick this because, you know. Alright, let's go. Fair one, yeah. I think there is some long loading screens in this game at times. Here we go. Uh, there's really no cutscenes, um, hardly in this game. Like, Alice 2 has more, I would guess, if you want to consider them cutscenes. I mean, Alice 2 has more. If you did a speedrun on this game, you'd probably get close to the ending, like, 50 minutes into the game, honestly. It's how short the first game is, but we're gonna take our good old time. All right, we're not going to read through all the all the notes that we see, because so we'll just take the one. So we're just going to read the date, September seventeenth, twenty thirteen. Uh, legal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make a squid. They might monitoring. Um, if you want to read that, just pause the video. <laughs> We got our little home camera with HD. I think the, in the second game we got a 4K camera, which is always what I wanted for home purposes. All right, here we go. Objectives are updating your recorder's hand notebook. Pre press the touchpad. No notes yet. All right. And then, all right, so we're good about that. Who, I, 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 when this, when I first played this game back when I had, I had my Xbox One, when it was free with gold back in 2017, no, 2016, like at the end of the year, it was, I believe, December, and I just got my Xbox One like a week. I've had it for like a week. 
and uh, we'll read that here in a minute. And um, when I first started up, I knew it was going to be a scary game, just by the just by the little thumbnail of the picture for the game. I knew it was going to be scary. The story. I knew it was going to be scary. Hello. Anyway, let's read that note. It's not take too long. I started feeling sick just looking at this place. Smack myself with violence, shut down amid scandal and government secrecy. And 1971, reopened by Merkoff Psychiatric Systems of Joe 9 under the guise of a charitable organization. Phone reception, cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than a lost signal. Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguised profit as charity. And it just says never on American soil. Which is kind of cool. My dog behind me is about to... I think he's sick, but... For a 2013 game... His graphics are good. I think it actually released on PC first in 2013. Then 2014 it released on console, but I'm going to have to do my research. I think that's what I read before. That first released on PC. But you could play with a PS4 and Xbox One controller. Or, yeah, oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then, what was it? I'm not even sure if this game's going out yet when the new console's released. All I know is this, comes, this game's only available for PC, Xbox One, and PS4. And not Xbox 60 or PS3, which kind of. Oh shit. <laughs> which kind of surprised me a little bit. I mean. Could have at least released the first game for Xbox 60 and PS3, I guess. Alright. What kind of books do we got here? Don't know. I love how the, I love I love little details like that, like the curtains moving. I never heard of a TV do that before. <laughs> I love little details like the tree right there and all this. It really beats up your game. I was asleep at that time tonight. Almost nine ten. All right, to squeeze through, move towards the gap. All right, battery, and we can. Oh, I don't know why I did that. My friends must have been right. I must have. Been. See, now I have two batteries because I accidentally reload one. Okay, file, and we just do this. I'm going to open each individual file and note, but I'm probably not going to read them. I'm going to leave that up to you, and you, if you want to read it, you can pause the video, and I'll leave it up for a couple of seconds for you to do that. Hello? Alright. A211. Duh, I've seen something down there. Fuck you, door. How did they manage to get blood on the ceiling? You know, when I played this game before, I never seen blood on the ceiling. Is that ironic or not? Like, I've never seen it. I've always seen it on the floor and dripping, but I never really looked up. You know what would add horror factor to this game? Is if you w wore a mic or something, like I am doing, and had a little microphone indicator. Oh, I think we run down there. And, uh... They could hear you talking. That would add the, to the horror factor a lot. Alright, so we can't go through there. Want to document all this. <laughs> that part always scared the hell out of me. I remember that part. Lock the door. I think I have my brightness all the way up. <laughs> Excuse me, on this game. Alright, music, calm down. <laughs> they killed us. You caught up. The very. You can't. 
Find them. You have to hide. Can unlock the main doors from security control. Alright. I don't want to stay on him too long, cause... You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if it really matters or not, because... I think YouTube changed their policies where... I'm not sure, do they want fr kid, they confuse me a lot, cause either they want kid friendly content or don't they? Or family content at all, cause I read... That... Excuse me. That they don't want... Kid friendly content as they used to. And they just want... Content. But they're making it hard, ooh, better. But they're making it... Hard for car creator content. <laughs> Content creator is my bad to uh, actually make content. So I hope I don't get demonetized with this video, or I'm hope I'm gonna put like a little music thing so nobody claims me again for the music. Little thing. That's it. <laughs> Of escape the asylum. All right. Okay, so we and we'll leave that on for a couple seconds for you guys to actually. All right, pause the video if you want to read it, but I doubt any of this is important to you. Well, let's see here for a minute. Warrant for seizure. Oh, looks like they're in hot. Came from down up there. I guess I landed right here on a pile of broken glass. Door is bolted shut. Okay, so if there's like a card reader, if you have to call to go come in here, right? Why well, didn't and I know that's not a card reader? So why didn't they just put one inside for you to leave? Or is there like a different exit where you have to, instead of using the front door, you have to go through the other exit? Kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> Unless you have to stay here forever. Picked up a battery. How much batteries is up that we got now? We're at 4 of 10. Let's see if we can see outside. We can see... Wait, so army trucks? Yeah, okay. I was gonna say. That would be weird. That dude got decapitated bad. Got a restroom here. Okay, so I've noticed that I've only played Granny Chapter 2 once on my channel. So I don't know if I should bring that series back or not and just do at least another video like a Christmas special video or something because I mean I want to Project Wall Rider Therapy status, morphogenic engine activity fatigue or something at roughly 2000 ppm and safe to progress beyond stage 3 Hormo hormone schedule. Huh. Anyway, I probably would bring. Hmm. I probably would bring it back, uh. Honestly. For like Christmas or something. If I have nothing else to play. But we're gonna make this like a 2019 thing. 
I know I didn't even finish the Call of Duty like I said I would on my channel. So if we have enough time at 20, in 2019 to do that, after I'm done, because I want to play through all three Outlasts first and make that like a 2019 a schedule type thing, then uh, like at the beginning of December, I mean we're going to try to grind these videos out. So. Possibly at the beginning of December, or the middle of December, the campaign is not too long. Picked up the card cue for con control, security control. Um. All right, so inventory the card cue for security control. So we're gonna look at details for a minute. So yeah, I probably will. Finish that like at the beginning of December, like take a break from Outlast 2 and just Outlast in general and just play the campaign, grind the videos out until I complete the campaign for you guys. Shut that door. So, uh, I don't have to worry about that. And then I can team play Outlast and try to complete it and then play Granny 2. <laughs> Get out of here. So, I had this, I made this channel like the beginning of January this year. Well, not the beginning of January, like January 25th, I think, this year. So that means, and I started out mobile games. So if I could complete all three out, like Outlast, the DLC, and Outlast 2 in 2019, and complete the campaign for Call of Duty in 2019. Then really, I did Granny, Granny Chapter 2, hopefully a couple of videos, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Days Gone, but not really the full game on the channel, God of War, but not really the full game. You know what I'm saying? I completed kind of I did the Art School's Blades, which I'm not sure if I should bring that back either. I did like what? About seven or eight videos, I think. Maybe not even close. I'm sorry if I talk too much. I just like to. What's that? Like talk to the game a little bit. Witness. Alright. I'm not sure how long this first video is. I kind of want to make it like around 30 minutes or something. That way, it doesn't take us too long, but at the same time, it's really not a long game. That dude got jumped. Alright, the witness. I forgot to do this. Alright, now. Uh. Project Bull Rider. Flame Report. Alright. It's now. Close to 920 at night. Shut that. Try to lock her, don't try to fight. So 
Sorry if I think nothing. Sometimes I just like to leave the camera on. He knows I'm here. He's not that stupid. <laughs> You just want to stay in there. Guy. The big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for Chris Walker. Ex military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of blood in this place is on his hands, but not all of it. Alright, do we got another file? Yes, we do. Now, the files is the ones that take too long to read, really. So, if you want me to read the notes and like part two, all of the notes, then do this to the files, I will. But it's not like, you know. Right, I'm gonna try to do this part before we end the video. Cause really, I gotta show you guys a tip. Okay, so you open the store. Grab the spider real quick. You can do this. And then, if you didn't know this already. Leave the store open. Get this one. I'll reload the battery before you go. Hey, you just wait until he gets over there. Then crawl out, shut that door. Go turn on the lever. Well, I'll show you. Yeah, so you really wait. Shut that door. He's like, oh crap. I let him go. <laughs> And then you go over here. Don't search his answer rooms. I mean, I guess you can unless there's a file or something. But it takes too long. You leave the door open. Turn on that. And then you just hide in this locker. Wait until he opens the other locker. Run out. Shut that door behind you. Turn on the actual big thingy. I call it the big thingy. And get the hell out of here. I think it's pretty, it was like 30 something minutes. No one on the sea. We just gotta wait for him to get here. I think I hear him. I mean, there's no need to be afraid. Of, like, what? I remember it took me a week to even get out of this room right here when I first played the game. All right, here we go. It takes them like a good two seconds or three to even knock down that door. And by the time he does, you already be out here. And turn on the main thing. And really after that, you don't need night vision Just get the fuck out of here and it, and you'll probably waste a good battery and a half two batteries on that thing but I mean you'll waste more if you just stay in that stay in those rooms looking around so here we are Sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. Not yet. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel. 
all doors will open before you. Yeah, sure they will. Huh. Now we'll end the video here in a minute. Because I don't want the first part to be too long. Like we're getting sewers or something. Out of this room real quick. Our notes are the notes are only added. You know, all right. Giving us the tips that we already know about. All right, well that's probably the end of this video. Where's this Father Martin sells the priest? Father Martin brought me here to show me something. Thanks, I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This is Dr. Wernicke. Is at the center of whatever went wrong here. But he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. Alright, well, that's the end of the video. I thank you all for watching. And uh, I'll see you in part two. Actually, it, since I took like a good four hour nap before I recorded this, after it's done uploading, I'll probably just go ahead and uh, record part two tonight and try to get uploaded in the morning. But thank you all, and peace.